Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. In today's video, we are going to talk about how you can score 60 on 60 in physics for your IIT 2025, which is going to be held on 25th of May. So without wasting any time, let's begin. Okay, so the first thing is keep your basics clear. I mean, I have seen many of the students, many of my friends when I used to prepare for this competitive exam that they don't have a basic clear and still they are solving the PYQs and everything. I mean, yeah, you can, but the thing is in IIT, sometimes what happens is uh, they will put such a questions in that you will feel like all the options are correct even the first will feel like it is correct second one also third one also and d like fourth one also right so that happens when you are lacking in your conceptual understanding so just keep your concepts clear and for that to keep your physics concepts clear you can follow ashish arora sir from physics galaxy he is on youtube and it's completely for free he teaches for j advanced and literally for everyone i suggest his channel because if you don't join a co coaching even you can able to crack j advance not i'm not talking about it you can even uh, able to crack j advance just from his conceptual lectures which he have uploaded 12 years ago so that's the quality of his video so i personally recommend you if you are lacking in concepts you can watch his videos ashish arora from physics galaxy okay let's move to the second one okay so the second most important thing is solving each and every pyqs of iit each and every for physics for chemistry and for bio and for maths whatever but in this video we are going to talk about physics so yeah for physics you should solve IIT every single questions which came in past you should do it whatever the theory came in it you should be like literally a crystal crystal clear in those theories or those conceptual parts whatever they have asked and everything right so you should do like it's a must thing without that just don't think of giving IIT exam okay you have to do PYQs that's the most important thing Apart from the IT PYQs, you can also solve uh, other competitive exam PYQ such as JE, right? And uh, KBPY also. So, like for KBPY, I will just su suggest like if you are really an extraordinary person and you have a complete understanding in your basics, then only just go to uh, KBPY questions. Otherwise, it will be really stressful for you and you might be in a self doubt that you don't know anything. So, that's the thing. But yeah, doing JE men's question is a must. Like, do it and JE advanced question also you you can try and you should try to be honest because if you solve j advance now you will gain some clarity and if you i mean you will able to boost your i mean you will able to boost your score and uh, because you will gain some confidence right you're solving a j advanced question so yeah obviously uh you will able to crack physics part at least in uh your id 2025 right okay so the fourth point will be after clearing your basics solving pyqs for your ID2025 uh, preparation of J mains, J advance and uh, IIT PYQs, right? So the four point will be that I have shared a math and go 500 most important questions from a uh, physics in my uh, uh, YouTube channel. I have made an Excel sheet which I have shared with you guys. You can check my previous videos in that I have made a special video for that thing to explain the Excel sheet. You can watch that and from there you can refer math and go 500 most important physics questions which you should solve and which like it's an extra material which you should solve which will be helping to like cover all the questions from all the topics of a physics like there are some times that you you know the concept you know the basic concept of it but you didn't solve any question of it so you don't know the application of those questions uh, those concepts right so for that only math and go 500 questions which i have personally referred in my preparation days and trust me it is really helpful um, and if they are going to update any new questions in that i will also update in my excel sheet because they do usually share for free so yeah i will also update it and that's the fourth point okay so the last and the most important thing is giving a mock test and a full length test for the mock test you can give a mock test in a weekend weekend because many of you i mean almost all of you have uh, classes in your weekdays and in a weekend all of you are free you don't have any classes so week weekends are fine uh, you should give at least one mock test for Felix for one chapter or two chapter at max like at max because in a whole week you are gonna cover two chapters or one chapters depending on your pace like how able how fast you are able to grab the things on depending on that you're gonna cover the chapters if you're covering two chapters a week of physics you should give uh what we say test on the weekend on those two chapters the mock test okay and the full length test that you should give periodically after two to three weeks three weeks is fine for now but after that you should push it to the two weeks and then one week okay so for now 
three week is fine but after some time you should push it like pull it to the two weeks and then one week because time will be less and you have to give make, make a habit of giving test right and uh, for the whole, full length test giving now there is no any motto of bringing like uh, out of marks or something like that it's solely based to increase your sitting time the full length test is just to increase your sitting time to make think uh, about the questions and if you're lacking in some concept after seeing the full length test you will able to understand what topic is the weak for me and what is strong so that will really help you don't think about marks at this time in the full length test but yeah in the mock test you should think about the marks and you should think that you should uh, solve almost every question correct and in the full length test those questions which are the which are from the chapters which have you already covered you should do it correctly keep that thing in a mind like you should be clear, crystal clear in those things so the thing is i have told you about the mock test and the full length test but i didn't told you from where you should buy the test series right so like for the it siasta is a standard coaching from where you can buy a full length test at the minimal fee and i really recommend you to buy a test series it won't cost too much and just spend some amount of money for your good like for your good right so that's the thing you should buy a test series siasta is good or else if you are having a allen test series for your ge preparation because most of you are a ge aspirant but for need if you have any test series don't rely on that because you should buy some other test series like siasta i told you because need questions are not enough for uh, like the level of questions are not enough for your it preparation and the second most uh, like second thing is you can also try our je je uh, chan like je nt abhyas uh, app it's a nt abhyas app on which you can find a free mock test chapter wise full length test and for the full length test it has like almost i mean i don't remember but it has a lot many full length tests which will be sufficient for your whole uh, like exam period which really it will be really sufficient you can just download it from a play store nt abhyas and it will really help you to score much better and it's a free of course so that's why i'm suggesting and at my time also i have uh, did nta bias because it's uh, officially from a nta it's not like you someone is selling it or something like that it's officially from a nta so yeah that's a really good app which you should have in your phone uh, apart from instagram and snapchat to be very honest <laughs> yeah and yeah that's the whole thing the six most important things about the physics that how you can score 60 on 60 from my personal experience so if you like the video do hit the subscribe do like and also you can refer my past videos which are really good which and uh, there is a lot much content i have posted on my channel which is like a uh, whole uh, treasure for you guys so you should watch it and yeah i will meet you in the next video till then keep studying and yeah bye bye